Hi there and welcome to Plugin Guru Quickie Video. This is Quickie Video number four. And this is one that we're gonna be taking a, a journey to make a synthesizer patch together in Native Instruments Massive. And this patch will hopefully be showing up if it comes out good. I'm fairly confident it'll come out good. Um, this patch will be showing up as part of the update that I'm bringing out for the Native Instruments Power Pack, which will be coming out later in this month of August, which will take the Power Pack up to 100 patches. It's over at 80 now, and pretty soon it's gonna be at 100. Uh, this is one of three power packs that I sell at my website, PluginGuru.com. There's a power pack for FM8, a power pack for Stylus RMX, and then this one for um, Native Instruments Massive. And there's also a drum loop library called uh, Beatropolis, which is a great drum library of recycled drum loops that you can use all over the place. What we're doing now is we're going to go through the making of a patch for the power pack. I'm going to make a patch and you're going to come along with me. So I'm going to take a break to get things set up and uh, we'll make a patch together. I do most of my patches probably over 90% of the patches that I make in my power packs come from an initialized program so I have if you go to my website pluginguru.com there's demo banks of all my power packs and I put my default start for um, massive in there so if you double click this it loads up what I use is my initialized startup patch for all my voicing this is where I start because I don't like taking other people's programs usually and editing them. It, that's one way to do it, where you take something and you just mess around a little bit. But I'm trying to make new stuff that you haven't heard before, that I haven't heard before. So we're going to start with this. And I have an envelope under the presets. I wanted to make these and put them with the power pack, but I can't find a way to save them so that you can load them. They don't have that. And I'm going to say slow amp EG, so I have a very slow. I'm going to speed it up. The, the real power of Massive are in the oscillators and the way that they work. So let's go looking through. I want to look first. Maybe Arctic. One of these types of... It's got a lot of cool complex stuff happening. I can turn this up to start with. Now this right here, this determines what the intensity knob is going to do. And I'm going to use it to bend minus. It does a cool flangey kind of effect. So what we want to do is we click on 5 and put this to intensity. And then click on this and bring up the amount that we want. And go a little slower. Now I want this same LFO over here on position. There's all these cool waveforms it's going to go through. We'll do the full range. And you'll hear clicks because my computer is only so powerful. <laughs> and when you're playing pads, pads take up lots of polyphony because it's a lot of notes. That's not quite right. Now what's cool with Massive, I don't like this waveform, right? I want to go looking through other waveforms. It will keep these assignments that I've done. Let's speed this up. So I can hear what will... Put this back to Spectrum, because maybe Spectrum will work better. Spectrum is basically like intensity of the wave. I don't want one of these. Maybe math. Let's go down here. To... There we go.
That's what I'm looking for. Something that's got a cool harmonic motion to it. Now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna apply a, a distortion to this to give it more uh, intensity to the waveform. I'm gonna use clip. I'm gonna go to the routing page, and I want this to happen before the filter. I don't want it to happen after the filter. So I click here to move it so that it's now before the filter. That way this filter is now affecting that, that clipper. If you hear the difference, if I have it after, then the, the clipping will be all the time. See, it's still there. I don't want that. I want it so that it, it goes down with the filter as I bring it down. That way it becomes more a part of the oscillator instead of an effect, basically. And instead of the, the 12 dB filter, I'm going to go to the more complex 24 dB filter. You can get to more sub tonalities than you can with the other filter. So it, it takes more CPU power. Now let's have this LFO. <laughs> Sweeping, but not quite that range. And really slow. Actually, you know what? I don't want it to be an LFO. I changed my mind. I want it to be this envelope. So we have one envelope. Actually, we can just use the envelope that's there, right? Off. Number one. Slow fade. Long decay. Let's find something to match it. Now this is one where the spectrum intensity makes it a chord. And when it's down, it's not. So I want to have this so that this envelope number two, it's gonna, it's gonna eventually will end up at a minimum. I want to start really high, and I can go up here and control the decay to the level. fades down the, the chordal part. Now I want something bottom. I need a sine wave to be added to this. Let's go sine. I'm going to send this over here to filter 2, which is this bottom row down here. And we need to set this to be parallel. And now, let's first put the first two so they're dedicated to the top filter and uh, oscillator 3 to the bottom filter by splitting these up this way. See how these are maxed to the top? That means they only get the top filter. And then we can... Gotta have subs. Just to reaffirm the tonality of it, you know? Now let's add our rhythmic element because I want to have a little pulsing thing. So let's go to the curve page. I want it to be a really sharp pulse. And so we can click around, mess around, go up and down. I don't want it to be consistent. I want it to be this little dancing thing. And we're going to sign this, click right here on seven, to the filter. Sixteenth notes. Now I'm going to sync this LFO now, set it.
Now I haven't used effects yet. You gotta be careful when you add effects because effects will cover up, just like they make a bad singer sound good, they can make a so-so synthesizer patch sound great. So don't use them until you have to. So I'm not gonna use them yet because it's not quite right yet. I think I want to assign this LFO to also control. No, I don't want to, I don't want to chord. I think I don't want to chord. I don't mind that fifth sound in there. I just don't want it so, if it gets to because of chord, then it's really, when you play one note and you get a chord, then you play a chord and you get mess, so. That's kind of cool. Now let's do some more fun stuff. Um, another place we could add another element would be the noise, which is currently dark and quiet. <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of different preset types of noise. So let's go metallic. And we haven't used LFO 6 yet, so let's use LFO 6 right here. One of the cool things with the LFOs in Massive is beyond the four basic generic shapes you have here, your, your triangle and pulse and square, you have a whole bunch of additional templates. And some of these get really crazy with rhythmic stuff, the uh, bending and so forth. So click on these and sync them. Let's say to quarter notes. And to, to change where it starts to phase, you just click and drag to move the LFO where you want it. It's really cool. See what I mean? Takes a lot of trial and error for this kind of stuff. Now it's rushing, so bring it a little bit later. And the other thing that's going to be cool with this one is some panning. So let's go over here to the step. And it's kind of got panning. I only need a, a four repeating. So you click at the far right and now you're changing the panning. The length of, the, if you want to change the perf or the step performance to be shorter, you just click and drag to make it shorter. So now it's... And we click on number eight and we go up here to pan. And you just click and drag. So we made a patch together. All right, we'll do this for FM8. We'll do this for a whole lot of synths. Um, if you like these, leave comments, subscribe, let me know what you think. Go to my website, pluginguru.com, to watch more videos and get patches. So please support the guru. <laughs> um, and we'll see you later. All right, thanks. Bye.